Hi students. What we're going to be talking about tonight is the odd order harmonics of time travel. And uh, we can get a little zoom in right here. We're going to be going from one location to another location, traveling through space time. And it's just there's a certain distance here between these two these two places. So uh, This is one of the many uh, workshops on time travel that, that we'll be hosting. So the way that this works is you have location one and location two. There are two. There's these are kind of you know, two points here, and there's some antimatter that's that's created through this this infinite loop crossing over through the ultra dimensional generator and it's coming around to across this point again now at that point you have point magnification and you also have the gravity this this is a this is the infinite folding of space Now, the real point that you need to remember about this is at this point where the ultra-dimensional generator is, you have this magnification, okay? And this creates a black hole because you have a spiral flux, and as it goes down, it converges to zero point with absolute infinity, which is represented here as well. Now, this point magnification, because it's so important, we have another, another diagram that we can show right here. And what this is, is this is a, a diagram of the transient infinite envelope as it relates to point magnification. And it's a circle with a kink in it right here. So we're traveling around it this way, around, and then it, it loops around again to gain some momentum, and it, and it goes again. And you have anamorphic, anamorphic mass, which is represented here, AM with a dot. And you have your relative potential right in the center. And you have your infinite force which is a particle of zero point energy. Okay, now, we'll take a step back and we'll, we'll focus in on the, on the actual um, formula that we use for these calculations. Now, what we have is relative potential times anamorphic mass over infinite force. Then you have gravity to the x and time to the y over the cube root of x ln x plus the change in y to the pi power. Now this this portion right here on the bottom, the denominator, we're going to go over that a little bit more because that's where we're going to gain the momentum. And moving over here to a, a blank space, I'll actually draw that. You guys can hear that in the background, but I think it's the I think it's the cleaning crew cleaning the parking lot. It sounds like a leaf blower. Anyway, uh, to gain this momentum, it's 
because we're going around the circle and we've got the king. It's it's almost like a like a discus thrower in the Olympics and how the discus thrower will turn in a circle about the, the body about the body axis to gain speed of this disc to throw it. And that's exactly what we're doing here. When we're talking about the transient infinite envelope as we're traveling around and then right here is where we're gaining speed and we're going to go around again, gain speed around again. That's a discourse on the odd order harmonics of time travel. Thank you for joining us. Our next discussion will be on biometric engineering of the anamorphic polyvector. I hope you can join us for that.